Hello children, a very good morning to all of you. I am Miss Pamela. Today we are going to start our second semester portion. So let's start with a new chapter. Chapter 8. Chapter 8. Keeping oneself clean, safe and healthy. In this chapter, we are going to learn how to keep our body healthy and clean and ways to pick up some good habits to remain healthy and fit. Cleanliness is a way to remain clean and free from dust and dirt. It is related to hygiene and disease prevention. To remain healthy and fit, we must have good habits. A healthy mind is in a healthy body. Health means soundness of body and mind. We should take good care of our body and keep all the parts of our body clean. To remain healthy and happy, we must keep our body clean. An unclean body can make us sick. We must keep our body clean. I can do so in the following ways. Washing hands. We should wash our hands with soap and water. Always wash your hands before and after eating. When we use the washroom, after playing and after touching any pet animals, have a bath every day. It is good to have a bath with clean water and soap every day. After a bath, we should wipe ourselves with a clean and dry towel. Keep my hair and nails clean. We should wash our hair with soap or shampoo. Always keep your hair neat and tidy. Comb your hair with a brush or comb daily. Well combed hair makes us look smart and tidy. Oil your hair if it is dry. Cut your nails regularly so that dirt does not collect in them. Keep your nails short and clean. Trim your nails with a nail cutter. We should never bite our nails. Brush our teeth twice a day. We must brush our teeth at least twice a day. Always use a clean hanky while sneezing and coughing. Wear clean clothes. We must always wear neat and clean clothes. We must change our clothes every day. We must take care of them. Clothes should be washed properly to remove the dirt from them. Clothes should be ironed and folded properly. Wear shoes or sandals. We must
us take care of our shoes. We must keep them clean and in the proper place. We wear shoes or sandals to keep our feet safe and clean. And of course, it protects our feet. Some important points to remember. I must take good care of my body. I must keep my body clean. Wash your hands with soap and water before and after eating. We should have a bath daily. Always keep your hair neat and tidy. Keep your nails short and clean. Brush your teeth twice a day. Always wear neat and clean clothes. Wear good and comfortable shoes to keep your feet safe and clean. Now let's read chapter 8. Keeping oneself clean, safe and healthy. Page 38 in detail. For my body to remain healthy, I must take care of it. I must keep my body clean. I can do so in the following ways. Washing hands. Always wash my hands with soap and water. Before and after eating food. When I use the washroom. After playing. After touching any pet animal. Have a bath every day. It is good to have a bath every day. Use soap and water to clean my body. After a bath, wipe myself with a clean towel. Keep my hair and nails clean. Wash my hair with soap or shampoo. Comb my hair with a brush or comb. Well combed hair makes me look smart and tidy. Keep my nails short and clean. Trim my nails with a nail cutter. Do not bite my nails. Brush my teeth twice a day. Teeth must be brushed in the morning and before going to bed. Wear clean clothes. Wear neat and clean clothes. I must change my clothes every day. Wear shoes or sandals. Wear shoes or sandals to keep my feet safe and clean. Children, let's do the exercise on page 44. Write the four numbers of number one, police. One, zero, zero. Number two, ambulance. One, zero, two. Number three, fire brigade. One, zero, one. Well, children, Try to remember these four numbers as they are very important for us. Name the parts of the body 
on which you can use the following cap children where do you wear your cap on your head so we will write a small h e a d a wrist watch where do you wear it children on your hand h a n d the next picture is a comb where do you use it you use it to comb your hair so we will write a small h a i r socks we wear our socks when on our feet so we will write a small f e e t the next picture is a picture of a specs where do you use it on your eyes you will write a small e y e s the next picture is a picture of a toothpaste and toothbrush we use it to brush our teeth so we will write a small t e e t h well children read the chapter and complete all the assignments given neatly and correctly so meet you all again soon okay bye